Hey YouTube, it's Chrissy Lulu. So something actually was just brought to my attention and it was a video I was planning on making at some point anyways. So I thought now would be the perfect time to talk about it. So if you guys hadn't seen, um, I kind of missed this myself. Um, I didn't even watch her apology, but Holly Brown ended up posting a picture that she had traced parts in. So I kind of want to discuss, um, I guess, the ethics, <laughs> if that's the correct word, of tracing. And I'm sorry if I'm all um, stuffed up. I had my flu shot last Thursday and I am still recovering from the little cold it caused afterwards much better than I was, but I still sound like crap. But yeah, anyways, back to the topic. Is it ever okay to trace? Um, I'd say yes, it is okay to trace. But the only times you should be tracing is when it is for your own practice. Um, like if you are tracing, you can trace your own work. If you're like, I need to put this on a better piece of paper. I've seen Bailey J do this plenty of times. She gets a light box out and traces her sketch onto nicer paper and then she can work off of that. Um, plenty of people do this. Um, artists themselves back in the day also did this. Um, there was also people who would trace images back in the day, but this was never as it was it's never like um when people traced images way back like our traditional artists who would trace and use like fancy like um projectors that were kind of like the first cameras to do so um i can't remember what they're called at the moment but they trace like pictures they trace like kind of what they have They'd be able to take what they were seeing and have it reflected on a piece of paper and then be able to draw from that. So that in and of itself is tracing, but it's typically not going to be a final work. It's practice. So it's fine to trace for practice. Um, this was something I said in the base video I made forever ago. These two are on the same vein. Um, you can use a base for practice and for throwing out ideas and trying to get stuff down. But your tracing should not be in your final work. There should never be anything traced in your final works. And I think it really looks bad on Holly Brown for posting, even if it was a sketched piece, posting anything that had traced art in it. I think that's extremely unprofessional um, and just kind of disgraceful in a way. Um, that really makes me feel, feel um, poorly towards her that she'd make such a mistake and do that. And just the fact that I know that this is a piece that she would probably finish up and sell as a print is extremely despicable. Um, using someone else's art in your own piece, even if it's on the first couple of layers, is just gross. It's just not right. You should never be... You, you can use stuff like that as practice. If she wants to practice um, how to set up a composition, she can maybe reference it, but referencing and tracing are two totally different things. You can, and the amount of referencing you can be doing is kind of where the lines are. It, it really depends on how close or indifferent the two topics are. So if you are heavily referencing something, it is very close to tracing. You shouldn't ever post art that is heavily referenced and or traced. I know I have posted a piece that was traced, that was 
a very long time ago and that was like my first DeviantArt piece and it doesn't even look good so there's that it's on my paper it's a Pikachu you can go dig it up if you want um, I'm not saying I was smart when I was 13 years old or however old I was when I did this but I've stopped tracing um, I did that as a start off point and then quickly ditched it but that's something that everyone has done at some point um, I'm not gonna deny that but it's not something you should be sharing to the world without saying hey I traced this and this is for practice only I'm not claiming this as my own work to claim it as your own work is really disgusting um, and just the fact that Holly Brown made it very obvious that the Alphonse in her picture was traced is just kind of <sighs> irksome, I guess. Um, just the fact that it wasn't even attempted to be hid, she was sharing these and it's just the Eric, or oh my god. Edward, I I, com I combined Edward and Elric. Um, the Edward was very chunky line and very sketchy, but the Alphonse was very thin and delicate. Um, just kind of drew attention to this. And the fact that she thought that she wasn't going to get caught for this is just that's just kind of annoying when people that you look up to kind of let you down like this and kind of show this kind of side to their art. Um, even if you don't think you're very good at art, I don't. Th I think it's better to post your own work and your own compositions, even if your compositions aren't the best, rather than taking someone else's work and claiming it as your own because that compositional work that Holly would have been including in that piece, that was not her own compositional work. That was the creator of Full Metal Alchemist's um, setup for her environment. That, that's not Holly's, it never was. And the fact that Holly thought she could kind of get away with claiming the setup of the piece as her own was really kind of despicable. If you really look up to an artist, I do not think you should ever be trying to steal their art. You can try and mimic it, I should say. I could say. You can go and trace people's art to try and see what they're doing, but don't you don't post this. You don't share this. If you want to see how someone's hand is working and how someone does it, you can trace someone's work and then kind of draw it on your own. And if you're seeing stuff that you like in someone else's art, you can try and incorporate that in your own style. But you don't need to share the workup pieces. Um, what's the, like stuff in your sketchbook? Like if you have traced people pieces in your sketchbook, I can say that that isn't as bad. But this was a sketch for a piece that Holly was going to finish, um, and this. I have no doubt in my mind that this piece was supposed to be finished. Um, she was posting this piece to show you guys what she was doing, and she was hoping she was not. She was thinking she wasn't going to get called out for tracing, and then someone called her out for tracing, and she had to backpedal and be like, "Oh, well, 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 I was going to change it up and stuff, but you don't meticulously trace stuff unless you are going to keep it in." And that's just something I wanted to point out. Um, I've had trouble with some of the stuff that Holly has done in the past. I think she's very negative influence in a way. Um, I've had I've had her help me, not like personally, um, but um, her videos have helped me a bit. But this. Um, I think is just a really foul step on her part and I don't really think any amount of apology is going to really clear this taint off of her 
name. She's permanently like tarnished her name because of this and that's kind of very sad. Um, and to bring it kind of around, yes tracing is sometimes okay, but you don't claim it as your own and you do not incorporate it into final pieces. So that's kind of what I have to say on that. That is my conclusion. Um, if you, like, this is just kind of a reminder to be very smart if you're going to be posting your art online and you're going to be creating an image for yourself and you're going to be trying to come off as presentable and to sell your own art. You need to be very careful about what you're posting and kind of what you're attaching to your name. Like Holly was always saying that she's got a bunch of drama and that's why she doesn't like going on social media and stuff and how all this crap is happening to her and everyone's attacking her. But um, I think it's just because Holly tends to try and be a very controversial person. Um, and this works against her. While it can be very good to be kind of out there and controversial and kind of against the norm, you've kind of got to keep it so people can relate to you and stuff. And yeah, so just be smart when you're trying to build your, per or your persona, I'm going to say. And yeah, so that's kind of all I have to say on this topic. I'm gonna head out now. I'm gonna see you guys later, I hope. This has been Chrissy Lulu. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. I'm really curious, honestly. I want to try and create a little bit of a discussion around this topic. So, yeah. See you guys next time. Bye!